I want to celebrate another game changer because today's game changer just took over the top job at Harvard View's Children's Clinic. She came to Seattle as a young refugee and now she's leading the clinic that once took care of her as a patient. Here's King Five's Callie Greenberg with Dr. Anissa Ibrahim. At times I think that, wow, it's really me directing a clinic um, full of people that I admire so much. I think it's one that I um, am honored and grateful for, but it's also one that I've worked really hard. Tell me a little bit about your new position. I am the, med the new medical director for the Harborview Pediatrics Clinic, um, and that is a really full circle story for me. Um, I grew up in the Harborview Clinic. Um, my family came here as uh, refugees from Somalia in 93. Getting to Seattle, what was that journey like? I was born in Somalia. I was um, young when the war broke out. We got to Kenya in 92, and then by 1993, um, we were resettled to Seattle. That is very short. Um, that's a short amount of time. Um, the average amount of time that a person spends in a refugee camp right now is 17 years. A majority of our patients are um, refugees and immigrants. I mean, you've seen a lot of these families come through and do the same thing you've done. Yeah. What's that like? I can say, you know, like, I've, I know life is tough in a refugee camp because, you know, my family was there. Um, I know life is tough resettling to a new country um, and not speaking English and not knowing where the grocery store is and being isolated from the rest of your family and know how scary that can be, um, but also to give that hope that things um, improve. What is your favorite part about your job today? It's incredible seeing children that, um, you know, I saw at Three Days of Life um, now telling me about their first day of kindergarten. Um, kids who were really sick when they arrived here from, um, you know, their, um, from other countries when they immigrated here and they were essentially forced out of their, their homes due to conflicts in war, um, you know, say that they want to become a um, architect and they want to be a blogger as well because that's the new cool thing they've learned at school. Any of them say they want to be doctors? Yes, <laughs> a lot of them do. A lot of them do, and you know, I think that I encourage it as long as they're passionate about it. There's probably millions of little girls in refugee camps right now that are not being offered the opportunity to get an education. That could probably be the next neurosurgeon, and it is the support that we're not giving them that makes them different than me. Um, and it's not, um, it's not anything inherent to one particular person. One of the things that I always wish that I had when I was a um, young hijab wearing Somali refugee is at just someone who resembled me. Mm -hmm.